Hey everyone, it's Elisa again, and today I want to talk about um, just one way that you can help students be successful or to plan for success in your online classes. And that way is basically showing students how much time it's going to take them to do things because they really don't have a good idea of what that uh, entails. Many of them are used to the traditional face-to-face -face class and although each class is different there is a similar pattern where a lot of the content and um, time spent is in the face-to-face -face class and students are just used to showing up and whether they are paying attention or not you know they are getting something out of that time but in an online class you know it's almost as if students feel that uh, they are just working on the assignments so what is the point value for assignments and what do I need to do to get those points and so what we have to do is train them and teach them and help them be successful by uh, showing them that they have to spend time doing other things than just the assignments so I'm gonna quickly show you how in my class I map out the hours for each week and uh, each activity within the week and how I create a schedule for them to follow to be successful. All right, so let's go. Okay, I'm gonna show you a eight week late start English 102 class. So just keep in mind that when you start seeing the time estimates for weeks and, and assignments, uh, it's an eight week accelerated course. So yes, it's going to take more time. But one of the first things that I do uh, when my students start the class is I send out an announcement a week before the class even starts. And in that announcement, I explain to the students about the time commitment for this class. And I suggest that if they don't have this uh, amount of time, that maybe they should consider taking a face-to-face -face class. So right here in, in this middle of this letter that I send out to them, I tell them how it is recommended for a three-hour class that they spend 2.5 to three hours studying for each hour of the course and how that maps out to seven and a half to nine hours of study time per week for a 16 week class. And so if uh, it's an eight week class, obviously that's going to double for them. So I tell them what they can realistically uh, anticipate uh, the time that they would uh, spend and how they might map that out, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And, you know, I'm just trying to encourage them not to wait until the weekends to do the work for this class. Now another thing that I do is I carefully lay out the modules for the course and within each module I present a module overview for students and in the module overview I just do a brief explanation of what it is they're going to be doing for the module, how long the module will last and I give them this time management tip. Plan for 23 to 25 hours for this module over a two week period. And then as I break down the units in each module, I also list the learning outcomes that the students sh should anticipate learning within this module. And then I list all of the assignments that they will be working on. But students will then click into the, the first unit of that module. And again, they're presented with some information about time management. So for this unit, they're going to spend eight to nine hours and so units don't last a full week. Sometimes they last just a few days. So I list the instructional objectives and then this is how the unit is laid out. So the unit actually starts on a Wednesday and it goes until Sunday. And so although students don't have to complete these assignments on these days, this is what I recommend that they do so that they can spread it out throughout the unit time or the week if it's a week and then they don't wait until the last minute again to do things. Now, I take those hours, plan for eight to nine hours, and then I show them how those eight to nine hours break down. So in this particular case, they have reading to do, and I say plan for one hour to read any two of these articles. So these are articles that they're gonna link out to and read. And then they have some lessons to do, and after each lesson description is plan for 30 minutes, plan for 15 minutes, plan for 15 minutes. So these lessons are really short and quick. If you watch my last video, I talk about how these lessons 
I use for attendance just so students are checking in each week to complete these lessons. Then they have a discussion. I plan again for 45 to 60 minutes and then they have a list of an assignments. And once again, I tell them how much time they should spend on these assignments. Okay, so here's another example. This is the next unit in that module, unit two. Same thing. And what we're seeing here is consistency. So each week or each time a student goes into a new unit, they will see something very similar. They will see a quick description. They will see how much time for this unit that they're going to need. They will see their instructional objectives and then a map of how they will spend this time. In this particular instance, they will spend almost a full week. And then they have reading with the time mapped out for how much time it should take them. Now these are just average times based on me skimming through and then me taking a little bit longer than I normally would to read something. So they're just estimates. I try to tell students that it might take you longer or you might finish it sooner. Then they have some short lessons again. Again, 30 minutes here, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, five to 10 minutes. And then they have their assignments. And once again, the assignments plan for one hour. Okay, plan for 30 to 45 minutes. Plan for an hour. So it really helps teach students that they shouldn't wait to the last minute. And if they do, they can look to see, oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do all of this at the last minute because it's going to take me eight to nine hours. Where's that at the top there? Eight to nine hours total just for this unit. Okay, so that's just a quick run through of how you can help students plan and be successful in an online class by letting them know how much time things are going to take.